the justice minister's daughter has been abducted. The kidnappers demand the execution of death row prisoner Jowd to be carried out tonight. Lynn says the execution is a mistake, and I believe her, and so I'm paying the kidnappers hideout a visit to see what I can find out about the abduction. What took you so long? Your instinct was right, beauty, my dear. They had that restaurant surrounded. It took me forever to shake them, and now my poor bike is ready for this scrap heap. Next time, maybe you should make it a tricycle so you don't hurt yourself. Ouch, that hurts, beauty. But that's okay. That's what I love about you. Be a little more gentle with our valuable hostage, please. Yes, yes, always keep a smile on a lady's face, right, my dear? There, see that beauty? Now there's a smile blooming on your face too, my dear. Yes, a wry smile. I'm going out for a breath of fresh air. You're on guard duty. All right, I'll dream of you until you return. Why don't you open the trunk for our guest? I will, beauty. I was just taking a little breather. All right, little lady. Let me open that trunk for you. Beauty. It looks like the Justice Minister's daughter really has been kidnapped, and something else is bothering me too. I don't think I've ever been to this room before, but something about it is giving me a strange sense of deja vu. I've seen something like this before. Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd the Shore. I talk about our play games and today we're going to be playing Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and we saved the Justice Minister from having a heart attack and we learned of his daughter's kidnapping and in this episode we have followed the kidnappers all the way to their hideout and now we'll be seeing if we can save the Justice Minister's daughter. Taking something precious to manipulate others. So that's what kidnapping is. The dirty tricks that those without the powers of the dead come up with. However, if I take that precious thing back, their power vanishes, doesn't it? Now then, time to see how the Justice Minister's little girl is doing, before this guy wakes up from his dream of beauty. So as of recording this, this is kind of off, to off topic, but just as I'm making stuff happen, this is, I'm being recording, uh, I'm, I'm recording this the day before the Mario movie comes out, and I'm super excited to see that. I am just, I know that's going to be really awesome just from what I've seen, and I've heard reviews come in saying that it's really good. Yeah, I'm super excited for that, and the new Marvel show, Secret Invasion, that looks really cool. I'm super excited to see that. There we go, I was hoping I could time that correctly. We want to do here what we did in Chapter 2 with the mouse, but with that tennis ball, because that'll allow us to do something real quick. You'll see in just a sec. All right, we move across these stars and... Ah, here we are. Darn. Can't reach my destination from here. That's weird, my screen went black for some reason. I think it was supposed to be like the spotlight thing where You know, the spotlight thing where where it shines a spotlight on what's important. Q. 
just my imagination. Just my imagination, that's all he has to say? What an amazingly simple fellow. This room, on the other hand, is starting to look amazingly festive. The question is, how can I use it to my advantage? Moving back on over here, we want to go ahead and... I believe... There we go. What do you have to say now? This is one of those things you light with fire, isn't it? As long as there's light in the room, is something like this really necessary? But if something can be lit, it kind of makes me want to light it. I need another core to reach the trunk and open it. I wonder if I can create a new core. Ah, there we are. We need to make those pop as well. Just my imagination. Are you gonna say the same thing, Sissel? That's all he has to say. If he was any more laid back, he'd fall right off that crate. <laughs> but look at that streamer go, go spinning round and round. Now, how can I make use of that? Can I... Ah, no, I can't attach to it. I was hoping that I, that I would, but now I have to go all the way around. There are two party poppers there, so I kind of got confused on which one I was supposed to pop first. I think you're able to pop both, and it doesn't really matter. But all right. I paused it at the perfect time right there. Let me see if I can... Ah, uh, that catches that, that on fire, which lights that. Now you can see what we're supposed to do here. Let me just bring that right back around. And then... Now we raise this up, and that should lead right on over to the uh, candelabra-looking thing. Just my imagination. What funny quip do you have this time, Sissel? Nothing? Okay. Alright, here we are over at the trunk. What in the... What's going on here? This little lady is... Is this little lady really a daughter of the Justice Minister? Just my imagination. What's with the fun book and juice? Like I said, always keep a smile on a lady's face. I wanted to treat our guest as well. How about treating me well? I'd like some bread and milk, please. At your service, my dear. Be back in a flash. Hey, mister. Yes, cute little lady. More juice, perhaps? All you have to do is ask. Have I been... kidnapped? Don't cry, little dear. There's nothing to be afraid of. The surroundings are miserable and filthy, I know, but we just ask for a little patience. Don't say those awful things about this house. Hmm. This house is... where I used to live. What? I apologize, little lady. I'm the one who's miserable and filthy. Forgive me. What's the meaning of this beauty? Why here at this girl's old house? Don't ask me. It was the other party in our deal who chose this location. Oh, oh, I see. It's been empty for five years, and apparently nobody ever comes here. But never mind that. What about my bread and milk? Oh, of course. Now, you be a good girl while I'm gone. He 
You just read your book and drink your juice. I want to go home. Not quite yet. The dilapidated place was Camilla's old house. What's going on here? What in the world? Why does the little lady have a core of the dead? When I helped her out at Lynn's apartment, she didn't have one. So that must mean she must have died sometime after that. And it also means somebody else must have saved her. Better ask her what happened. Who's there? Oh, wait a minute. Is that you, Missile? Missile? I'm sorry. I'm not Missile. My name's Sissel. Sissel? My name is Camilla. Camilla. So it is her. I knew it. What happened to me? What is this place? I can hardly tell the poor little thing this is the land of the dead. The land of the dead? Does that mean I'm dead? Darn, I forgot there are no secrets in the ghost world. You can relax. You're not dead. But this isn't the first time you've been here, apparently. Really? I don't remember. Wait a minute, maybe I do remember. Sort of. You do. It looks like she doesn't remember being saved very well. Hmm, so there's some other dead person out there with special powers, eh? Anyway, I don't want to impress her if she doesn't remember dying. Do you mind if I ask her a few questions about something else? Sure, go ahead, sissy. Sissy, eh? <laughs> The kidnapping. Lane asked me to do something for her tonight. Uh, I know about that part. She asked you to go to the chicken kitchen on Dead End Drive, right? Yeah, but I never got there. Now I wish I could say I'm sorry to her. I never should have gone through that park. What park? Temzik Park. It's a shortcut to Dead End Drive. Is that where the kidnappers grabbed you? Yeah, Lynn always said, I don't like that park. Scary things happen there. Temzik Park, eh? What am I going to do? Lynn's going to be mad. She is. How come? Because I left it there. The music box in the park. That's right, the music box. That music box was hidden in the apartment. I finally found it with a little bit of luck and courage. Guess where it was? Hmm, I don't know. Where? I'll pretend I don't know. You know. You don't have to humor me. Oops. So, what happened to the music box? I hid it in the bushes at the park just before it happened. Just before? Oh, just before the kidnap- you were kidnapped, huh? I didn't want the bad man to take it, so I hid. I bet it's still there in the park. You did well. So the music box is, box is in the park. I'd better let Lynn know. This is your old house? Yep, this is where we lived until five years ago, but now I live with Lynn and Missile. Lynn is like a big sister to you, isn't she? Yup, she's a detective, you know. She's a hero. She is, huh? By the way, you, about your father. Is he the justice minister? My father is... gone. Gone? Maybe he passed away? No, that's not it. My dad... He's going to die, and it's all because of me. What? What do you mean, because of me? Why would you say that? It's called an execution. My dad is a detective. N no way. Don't tell me your father is Detective Jowd. That's right. What in the world? Five years ago, something really bad happened. Like a scary dream, but it wasn't a dream. Five years ago. That murder case. It was mom's birthday that day. My mom and dad were working and I was home by myself. And then I had an idea. I was going to surprise my mom. I set up that contraption. I'm home, Camilla. Why is it dark? Mom! Mom! What was that noise? I 
I still can't believe it happened. It wasn't supposed to work like that. Hmm. I know that contraption. And I know how it was supposed to work, too. Barter poppers and a cake. A birthday message. My dad told me not to tell anybody. Just leave it to me, he said. My dad wanted to be executed. He asked them for it. But I wanted to tell everybody it was my fault. My dad said I saw what I saw was a bad dream. He told me to forget it. This is all so unbelievably tragic. I can't believe it. The little lady is Detective Jowd's daughter. I just can't tell her. I can't tell her why she was kidnapped. Why was I kidnapped? I want to know. Oops. There are no secrets in the ghost world. Maybe we'd better stop talking. It's too dangerous. Sissy, you're not going to talk to me anymore? I think we'd better get you out of here first. We can talk more after that. Okay, but... I'm going to rescue you now. You just hold on a little longer, alright? Okay, but we'll talk later, right? Don't forget, you promised, sissy. New info's been added. What took you so long? I traveled the entire town in search of the finest bread and milk for you, my dear. But it's too late, all the shops are closed. We're leaving this place right now. What? But he's not here yet. And if and if we couldn't meet at the restaurant, weren't we supposed to meet here? Yes, and he's the one who chose this location. Oof, I don't like this one bit. We have to run around doing all this extra work for the sake of this deal. Be quiet. It can't be helped. This place is too dangerous. I told you, my sixth sense is str very strong. All right, as you wish, beauty. I feel it. I sense something here in this room. Is somebody there? Can you hear me? Is she talking to me? I can sense your presence, you know. The next time I sense you, this child will die. Remember that. All right, we're leaving. Pardon me, little lady. All of a sudden, I'm left behind alone. Alone in the room that stole the little lady's smile away five years ago. The little lady is gone now, leaving me with a few new facts. A few very heavy, sad facts. Does Lynn know about all this? One other thing stands out in my mind. I can sense your presence. The sum of that kidnapper's final words. Do those two know? Do the kidnappers know about the powers of the dead?